Columbia Police Department has no written rules for officers working traffic at public schools. ABC 17 News investigates after a Columbia police officer hit and killed a four-year-old girl outside of Battle High School. ABC 17's Lucas Geiser joins us live from the school. And Lucas, you learned earlier this new information. You got it from a records request. And Joey and Ashley, since the crash happened, we've been asking both the school district and the city about their rules around school dismissal and officers being at schools, trying to understand how something like this could happen. CPD says they have no written directions for officers that are working the schools. The Highway Patrol continues to investigate how a Columbia police officer came to hit and kill a four-year-old. A records request to the Columbia Police Department turned up no rules or policies for officers working at Columbia Public School facilities. That includes managing traffic. CPD did point out a parking policy that says drivers will obey all traffic laws except in cases of emergency. The patrol says Officer Andrea Heese arrived at Battle High School on January 4th just before dismissal to help out. She turned onto the sidewalk where four-year-old Gabriella Curry was. CPS also has no policies directing officers to park in any particular place to help with traffic. Patrol spokesman Sergeant Scott White told us last week it was common for vehicles to travel onto that sidewalk in order to get access to the athletic field. White did not provide an update on the investigation today. And because there are no policies, I asked the Columbia Public School Board's policy committee members, Helen Wade, Paul Cushing, and Susan Blackburn, if they would look into crafting a policy about that. Not a single one of them returned my calls. I also asked Third Ward Councilman Carl Scala at the city what his thoughts were on the situation, and he did not return my message either. I asked the city if Officer Heese is back from her paid suspension from when the crash happened. They said instead, I needed to ask the Highway Patrol about the investigation. Reporting live here in Columbia, Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News. A lot of back and forth in this story. Thank you, Lucas. We also asked to see how many crashes Columbia police were involved in, in the last five years. Now, the department is charging us $277 to provide those records to you.